Hey guys, it's Rick Dennis, also known as Rick D on some of the forums. Hey, I want to show my technique on slip editing, manual slip editing, uh, multi-track drum recording here in Sonar X1. Let's go ahead and get started. <coughs> Excuse me, sounding like a 15-year-old with my voice cracking. All right, uh, let's go ahead and listen to it to start off with. Let's listen to it uh, with the song. And I've kind of got a section that I want to work out, so uh, I'm just going to do that here. But let's go ahead and listen to it so you can hear it. So you can kind of hear in this uh, 56 frame, I really start slowing down a little bit. So let's go ahead and look into that. Let's solo the drums up and listen to it again. So by itself, it's not too bad, but you can hear that thing going. Um, if you hear computer noise, for some reason, um, for doing this uh, screen capture Camtasia, I seem to be picking up a lot of computer noise that I can't track down and figure out uh, where it is or get it stopped. It doesn't do it in uh, my Motu, but it's definitely do it in uh, the sound card I'm using to pick up the uh, Camtasia here screen capture. So sorry about that. It's not your computer. It's mine. Um, all right, here we go. I know I kind of pre-did this a little bit to look at where we were. I know I've got an issue right here about 56 to uh, and an eighth, actually. 56 to looks to be pretty good on. But if we go up to, let's change my snap to grade to eighth. And uh, we'll look at the hi-hat track. It's my hi-hat track. What I'm going to do is expand the waveform. So I can look at each little piece. You can see that guy is late. And that's where I'm starting to slow down. And as I keep going, you can see a bunch of them are late all the way through. Okay. And it doesn't start getting on until somewhere about here. <clears throat> there we go. We'll do that in 57.2. Um, that guy's, you know, pretty close to being on there. Um, this guy is late as well. That kick hit, I mean, that snare's late. This kick's late. So I've got a bunch of them late, so I'm going to try to do the whole group. Great. So, let's see. This is the one that was in question, right? Yeah. So that's the guy we want to move. All right. I'm going to do all of my work in the drum folder, in the menu part of the drum folder. Uh, you can collapse or expand the menu part of the drum folder. All right. And it shows each one of the tracks in that folder for all the tracks in that folder. All right. Um, if I do that, every work I do in here, it will do to all of the, the tracks in that folder. All right, it's one of the reasons I like to keep it in folders. So I'm going to use a shortcut T to bring up the tool change bar for me. I'm going to pick my split tool, and I'm going to split it right there on that line. Now, we looked back here somewhere 50, was it on this one? There we go. That's 57.1. That's yeah, a little late. That's yeah, a little late. That guy's a little late. So we're going to split it here. This is a guy that's on. So we're going to try to keep this track. All right. So let's split here. And push T. Get my uh, smart tool there. And we're going to work in this section. All right, so snap to grid is still on, and we know we, let's see which one we want to pick on. That guy's really late. That guy's really late. That guy's really late. Let's use this snare. We're going to use that as a reference. We know we're going to slip it forward in time or right to left, so that means all these tracks are going to push over top of this one. I don't want to do any crossfades yet, so I'm going to get this guy out of the way just by grabbing in the menu all 10 tracks uh, to slip all 10 tracks uh, move at the same time I'm gonna cut the snap to grid off uh, use my move tool now and grab the entire track and put it in place that's all 10 tracks that keeps everything in phase and in time assuming that you recorded it in phase and in time because um, all track tra 10 tracks move with you all at one time now we're going to close this gap up. I like to have them as close to a an attack as possible. 
so I'm going to put right in front of that tack. Now I'm not too worried about the original, which would be this these group of tracks. These are the ones we didn't move. This is the one we did move on the right because we moved it from left to right. So I know the attack is not until later. You see. So now when I put this up, move all the other tracks right up against it, and you won't hear uh, a cymbal move, um, the volume of a cymbal go really weird. How You know how if you do some of these slip edits, um, and you do it right in the middle of a cymbal ringing out, finishing its ring, you can hear the volume difference dramatically. And... Uh, so if we do it close to that attack, we try to eliminate that. So first of all, before I work on the back side, let's see if that actually worked, if it helped. And it's not bad. Um, there's a little bit more to it going on there, though, isn't it? That was pretty close. Let's change my snap to grid to 16th now, and look at this. And see, that's late. But that's pretty close. So let's move this guy over here while we're at it too. So we go back here and T split tool split back here split tool split back to our smart tool and now we snap the grid back where we want to move it. I'm gonna cut the snap to grid off. I'm moving right to left, so I push the left out of the way. Put that guy right on the money. Slide it in, let's get rid of this before I make a mistake. Zoom in a little bit here on that cut. Nice and tight. Now we gotta correct the back side. We see again we've got that attack. Slide that in. Hey, look at there. That attack because I moved from left to right is in the way. So now what do we do here? I'm going to try to move this right until that uh, the uh, the beginning hit of that uh, uh, whatever attack right there. I think it's just a hi hat uh, uh, hi hat attack there. So we move that right into the beginning of it. Well, I just stumbled over my words. Yep. Feel free to make fun of that. Yay! All right. So right here in front of it. I'm going to slide her over to the left till it is gone. I'm going to bring this guy all the way forward. And then what I want to do is look at these waveforms and see how well it worked. If it doesn't work out that well, we might have to do something else. Um, it actually looks pretty good. Um, let's do a big screen on the hi-hat track. That's not too bad. That's a really little minor difference between this waveform and here. Um, so I'm going to see what that sound like I think it's gonna be okay now let's back up and listen again here we go not bad at all right all right now well it's better it's still got a little bit more work to do to it but I'm running out of time here let's uh, look at this back section here and see what we want to do to correct this. Let's cut the snap to grid back on, snap it in. And if I remember correct, let's cut the snap to grid back off. We wanted to keep the one, uh, the one we moved was one on the left. So yeah, let's keep that there. Same technique. Move it in right in front of the attack. Except this attack is going to come in first, right? Yeah, so let's go to where that's quiet where that attack disappears an attack I'm talking about the waveform I'm just not saying that very well but it's how I think so good thing you're not in my brain um, oh look I'm accidentally moving it control Z undo and wait till that tool got in there that actually looks pretty good let's back it up Listen to all of it. Still one more hit right there, isn't it? It's 
one more little guy right here that's driving me nuts yeah snap the grid on yeah it's late that's a little late and that's on all right so let me do this real quick i'm gonna kind of do it quiet at my normal speed Mistake right there. I like to move the one to the left. There we go. Snap the grid back on. That's a little early. That's a little on. Let's see how it works. my normal pace, normal speed on that. Let's listen. Oh yeah, no pops, crackles. Actually, that one little thing fixed it up pretty good. Now let's listen to it with the song. Alright, so that's it that's slip editing um, once you're done with that you can once you're that you can tell I'm from the south and you're happy with that you just reach up here uh, let's get real tight with it I don't normally get this tight with it. I just kind of grab and grab and do a little crossfade and I'll do that when I'm done and happy with that section all right <laughs> Thanks much. I hope it was helpful. See you.